In this chapter, I'm going to build a track using actual, not virtual, instruments. In the last movie, we did a track using completely inside the box with MIDI, and this time we're going to use completely outside the box. So I'll use a cajon for the rhythm, maybe some electric bass, some acoustic guitar, some electric guitar. And then along the way, we'll look at how we can use plugins and set up the cue and some delays and reverbs and that sort of thing. So what you see right now is a guitar tuner. Let me move this guy out of the way. You can see that I've set up a mono audio track and it has my live mic so that I can talk to you, but it also will catch this guitar that I have in my hand. And I have put the TL Intune plugin here on this track. It's in the other and TL Intune. And so let me quickly make sure that my guitar is behaving. Okay, so when you have an idea for a song or a groove or whatever, where do you start? Should you always start by laying down a drum part? Or, you know, are there other ways to do this? A lot of people always start with the drums, but you don't have to. This time I'm going to start with an acoustic guitar part and then sort of maybe add some percussion and drums to that later on. So let me jump back to the edit window. Let's close our plugin. And I think I'm okay right at 120 beats a minute. I've done some legwork already here, but you've seen all this before. Created a track, moved it to the top, created a click track, turned on my click, set my tempo. Okay, let's give myself a count off here, although I don't really have to have it. But let's try this. The little part I have in mind, uh, well, let me just try and lay it down for you and we'll go from there. So F12 to start, and off we go. Okay, well, it probably didn't need that little bang at the end, but let's see what we got. Turn count off off. I'm still in record here, so I will take it out of record. Okay, and I think I was sort of wobbly on the click there a little bit, but not too horrible. So I think it's worth keeping that and maybe laying down another part. So, sort of bright on the level there, but nowhere did it really clip. So let's see what it sounds like in the middle. Okay. And because I'm gonna sort of make this the anchor part, I'll sort of play along to the little foibles that are in this part, the little imperfections that are in this part. See if I can sort of match that with my other parts. Okay. So the point is on this movie that you don't have to start with the drums. 
could have played this whole thing without even a click and just kind of winged it. And that's always tougher to add drums to later, but you may have experienced that yourself already. But I think we're in okay shape here for a basic part. I'm happy with it. I will go ahead and save this. And in the next movie, I sort of feel like, I'm gonna go back to the beginning here. Okay, you can hear me tapping my foot in there. So I'm not sure I'm loving that too much. Might wanna just take a new approach to the whole first eight bars. So anyway, we'll investigate that in the next movie.